Buongiorno. Hello. I'm Daniel McVicker, and at Sant'Andrea Luxury Houses and Top Properties, we bring you some of the most amazing estates and villas in Italy. But today is even more special. This is a castle on a hill on top of 1,200 hectares of land. That's about 3,000 acres with wine, with olive oil. It's really extraordinary. It's magical. Let's take a look at the Castello di Olivetto. Andiamo. The Castello di Olivetto is located in central Italy in the heart of Toscana, in the Chianti region. It is only 40 minutes by car to the Florence airport and 50 minutes to the Pisa airport. Here we are. We'll start with the courtyard here at the castle. And the castle was designed by Filippo Brunelleschi. Uh, Filippo Brunelleschi was the most important architect of those times, designing the Duomo at Santa Maria del Fiore and many buildings in Florence. But this was his design. The, the courtyard here, uh, you can say, of the castle or the fortified villa. <laughs> you can imagine here, in the past, there were kings, there were queens, there were dukes and earls and knights and dames, all here at the castle, entertaining themselves. Even popes visited here. It's a really an amazing piece of history uh, still intact here in Italy. Let's go on over here and take a look at uh, some of the rooms inside. Um, and then I'll reveal a few secrets of this castle. Yes, uh, this whole castle is uh, enlivened by this continuing motif of the testamoro of the Pucci family, a symbol of the Pucci family uh, that you'll see all over. It's a little bit mysterious. There are different stories about this, but you'll see the TTT on the headband. We'll talk about that later. It's very important. Uh, in this castle, you can imagine yourselves in the past, in noble times. It is a castle fit for a king. Or a pope. This is what they call the pope's bedroom. I guess he's not here today. The family chapel. Uh, the living quarters. Uh, the living quarters, are, these are the noble living quarters in the castle. They're still maintained very well, maintained as they were. Uh, but come on, let's take a look at a little bit of the living quarters. We see that the king Vittoria Emanuele III was a guest here of Conte Leone Guicciardini in this castle in uh, 1928. <laughs> uh, because this castle is a very special noble castle. It's from the family Pucci. Uh, uh, no, no, not Tucci, Stanley Tucci. No, not you, the family Pucci. Yes, like the fashion designer, Emilio Pucci, who is actually a descendant of the family. Yes, the wine is aging. It's mainly Sangiovese here, uh, Chianti, and uh, a little bit of Vermentino they make, white, some Merlot, some Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, it's quite extraordinary. They produce over 350,000 bottles a year of wine. Uh, let's go taste some. Uh, here we have the uh, olive oil of Olivetto uh, here on the plate. And also, I poured a little bit of the Leon X Medici uh, red wine, which is a mix of Sangiovese, Merlot, and Cabernet. Uh, 
Of course, that was the Medici family who worked with the Pucci family most often, but there were some conflicts between them as well. But there's no conflict today with olive oil and bread. It's unsalted because, of course, the Florentine brand is unsalted because of a conflict with uh, Pisa, as I recall. And the wine has a beautiful bouquet. And cheers to peace. Oh. Okay. Uh, the testimoro with the three hammers on the headband, uh, or the three T's. Tempora, tempore, tempera, which means in Latin uh, that all things change in time, or time heals all wounds is another translation. Well, the castle doesn't have a pool yet, but it does have a pool table. But let's go up to the roof. these walls could talk. <laughs> they would talk of battles. The protection of the Pucci family, the protection of the Medici family, all from another time. But now, you know what these walls talk about? Peace. On a piece of land this size, there's a lot of agriculture going on. There's the production of grain. There's vineyards. There's olives. and there's also a special forest that's reserved for hunting. Uh, also, there's 27 structures on this property. Uh, some are in use uh, for the agricultural work. Uh, some are barns, some are villas where people live. There's some are villas where you could actually construct a beautiful uh, vacation villa. Some could be subdivided. There's so much you can do on this property. I built a castle in the air, a radiant thing made out of dreams. Love's dear desire, its golden stare, not heavier than a hope was there. A thing of mist and rainbow gleams. Ah, the Castello di Oliveto. Thank you for joining us here today. It offers such a noble opportunity to create a new future on this land that's connected to the past. Thanks. Subscribe here. Press the like button. Leave a comment. Sant'Andrea luxury houses and top properties. The Italian style of luxury.